And then when we have enough joy and happiness, maybe we are stronger in order to handle the block of pain, sorrow, fear in us. I think this this, um, is a very scientific way uh, of approaching feelings. Because uh, if a doctor judges that a patient is too weak, he would not allow surgery to take place away. Uh, right away, the patient should be should re, should acquire some kind of um, uh, strength in order to undergo a surgery. And this is the same here. Maybe we need some nourishment with joy and happiness before we can handle the block of pain and sorrow in us. That is why. The fifth and the sixth uh, uh, exercise go first, and then the seventh come later. Many of us uh, are afraid of going home and getting in touch with the pain inside. We are afraid of being overwhelmed by the pain. That is why our practice is to run away from our pain. But the Buddha recommend the opposite. Go home and take care of your pain. And you can do that without fear, because now you have, uh, you know how to generate energy of mindfulness and concentration. And you are strong enough to go home, go home to yourself, to recognize the pain in yourself, and listen to it and transform it. Hello, my little pain. Hello, my little anger. I know you are there. I'm home to take care of you. I do not want to cover you up with uh, consumption anymore. We consume not because we need to consume. We eat, we watch television, We have a conversation, not because we need to do them, but because we don't want to go home and touch the suffering inside. So even if the television program is not interesting enough, we do not have the courage to turn it off, because we are afraid that we have to get in touch with the suffering. So the practice of mindful breathing, the practice of mindful um, walking can help generate that uh, energy of mindfulness so that we can go home to us, recognize and embrace our pain and heal. That is the teaching of the Buddha. The basic uh, practice is mindful breathing, mindful walking. And if we are a beginner in the practice, we can also rely on the collective energy of mindfulness generated by the Sangha. You sit among your brothers and sisters in the practice. You allow yourself to be embraced like a drop of water allowed herself to be embraced and transported by the river. Dear brothers, dear sisters, here is my pain, here is my despair. Please help recognize, embrace it. Alone, my mindfulness and concentration is not strong enough for me to do that. So that is why practicing with the Sangha is very important, when your mindfulness is not solid enough. And that is why Taking refuge in the Sangha is not a a declaration of faith, it is a practice. You belong to a Sangha. You know how to make good use of the collective energy of mindfulness in order to embrace your pain and sorrow. And those of us who know that you have pain and sorrow, we sit there, we breathe, we help embrace your pain and sorrow because you are a Dharma sister, a Dharma brother, to us.
So when the pain manifests as a, a source of energy, a block of energy, a good practitioner begin to recognize, begin to practice mindful breathing, mindful working, to generate the second source of energy. That is uh, the energy of mindfulness and concentration. And with that second source of energy, the practitioner recognizes the first source of energy, pain, sorrow, fear. My dear little fear, I know you are there. I will not run away. I am back to take care of you. That is the seventh exercise, recognizing the painful feeling, the painful emotion. And the eighth is to embrace. Because you have enough of that uh, energy to embrace the pain, the sorrow. When a mother hear the cries of the baby. She put anything she's holding down. She goes to the baby's room and pick the baby up and hold the baby like this tenderly. So as a practitioner, we do exactly the same thing. The pain, the sorrow in us is our baby. We should not try to run away from it. We have to be there for our baby. We have to recognize it. And the mother does not know what is wrong with the baby yet. But the fact that she is holding the baby tenderly like that can already make the baby suffer less. So holding your pain with mindfulness, you don't know what is the root of your suffering yet. And yet holding like that can bring already some relief. And you feel better. That is why generating mindfulness and concentration and holding your pain is very important. You can suffer less, especially when you are surrounded by brothers and sisters in the Dharma who can help you uh, to do the same. And after having hold the baby for a few minutes, the mother can discover what is wrong with the baby. And she can fix the situation very easily. After having hold our pain, our sorrow, our mindfulness and concentration may bring about some insight as what is the roots of this sorrow and fear. And we begin to understand the nature of our pain, our sorrow. Understanding will bring compassion and will show us the way in order to transform. And that is the object of uh, other exercises that follow. But for the seven and the eight exercise is only to recognize the pain, the sorrow, and to embrace tenderly with the energy of mindfulness and concentration. We shall continue tomorrow.